Hi there, in this video we're going to go over the first of the jump instructions. So this is a jump register. So it jumps to an address in the register given by RB. So by jump what we mean is we're changing the program execution. So steady the instruction address register having the next address to get the instruction. It jumps to some other point in the, in the program. Okay, so that's really what we're looking at here. So let's have a look at it in our logism okay so we've got the usual setup here now in this instance here what we're going to do is we've nobbled the instruction and in. okay so we'll change this to the instruction that we seen in the previous view so let's see if it's zero zero one one okay now what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, we'll go to 1 1 okay so RB will go 1 1 which will be this register 3 okay so let me put a value in this again I've nobbled this so if we can put a, a little value in this okay so really what we're saying is we don't want the instruction address to be the next address in the RAM which would be determined by the accumulator what we wanted to do is bypass that and we want the next instruction address to come from whatever's in this register which happens to be this so we'll just want to move this here into this instruction address register and you can see that when we get into the, the lower level okay so again we're working our way down these okay so we're now at the fourth one down so if i make that a little bit smaller so you can see it okay so we're at 0011, so 011 is the 11 one on this, which takes us to the fourth one down here. Okay, so let me make it a little bit bigger again. So when we get to stage four, reg B is enabled and instruction address register is set. Okay, so let's just go through and we'll do this just now. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now on the 12th one, so on the 12th one, we enable this register so this value here goes on to the bus okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to set an instruction address register so we we'll go to the next clock cycle the set goes high and then the set goes low so that new address is now in the instruction address register okay so we get in there we'll be able to we'll see it in there so that's that new address okay so that that's all that's doing so that's the first of the jump instructions so We'll go on and do um, another couple of jump instructions and then a clear flag instructions and that will be us finished and we can go on to doing some simulations and we can look at the um, the actual assembly language code. Okay, right, thank you. Goodbye.